It's 2018 and I've just started university. I'm in my dorm room in the evening with my girlfriend. I've just unpacked and met everyone. I'm talking with my girlfriend and she mentions that after all this is over, she's excited to see me in my suit going to work after I finally get my job. But the thing is, deep down, I'm lazy. And I only was excited for university and I only went to university because I knew it meant that I had a few years to do nothing. The thought of working that job filled me with dread. In 2018, my ideal life is to wake up, play games, order a Domino's pizza, and go drinking with my friends in the evening. Across the next few years of university, I do just that. I do the bare minimum to pass, I become a recluse, and just indulge in life's cheap pleasures. I block out the fact that the impending doom of spending the rest of my life in a 9 to 5 is fast approaching, and it eventually becomes too much. I even experienced the 9 to 5 for an entire year at one point because I do a year placement during the university course, and that confirmed that it wasn't for me, and I finally start taking action. I desperately start trying to escape so that I can keep living the lazy life I was used to. But then I pick up a particular book. And when I start reading it, it feels like it's speaking directly to me. That book is Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. And that book finally opened my eyes to what entrepreneurship actually was. Whilst reading this book, I realized just how much of my worldview is BS. I also realized that I actually don't think I'm lazy. I just don't want to spend the rest of my life working for somebody else doing mundane tasks and I wanted to make a difference in the world. These days, I've enabled myself to live a life that older me would have killed for. If I want, I can work two hours a day and be absolutely fine. But the thing is, I don't want to anymore. Sometimes I work for 12 hours and I genuinely enjoy it. Entrepreneurship has given me more than I ever thought it would. It didn't just give me the freedom to be lazy. It gave me a purpose, a sense of direction, and a chance to create my legacy. And it will do the same for you. I don't know exactly where this statistic came from, but it really put things into perspective for me. The rich people in this world are 74% entrepreneurs, 12% investors, 8% athletes, 4% artists, 2% miscellaneous other careers, and 0% a statistically insignificant amount are employees. Yep, from the very beginning, we are told that employment is the path to riches. Go to university, get good grades, university, college, university, you have to work hard to get a good job. Why? It's so that you become the best employee possible. And when you think back at your days at school, we are so indoctrinated by this as kids that it's insane. It's all we ever hear about. As a kid, even up to the age of 18, it was the only option that ever existed in my head. A college or university degree is BS, unless you want a very specific job that requires one. But even then, it's actually still BS because I wanted to be a programmer and everyone says, you need to learn programming at university. You need to have a degree to become a programmer. But that actually isn't true. I spent 95% of my time when I actually was learning something at university, learning theoretical information that never ended up being useful. Every bit of coding knowledge that I actually use in real life in my other business I learnt on my own. And then people say that getting this type of job without a degree is hard. And sure, it's probably harder to find a coding job without a programming degree, a computer science degree, but you could spend six months learning coding and then six months looking for a job and after a year be in a programming job. Whereas if you went to university, you'd have to spend four years at a university first. So you, you would have been at the same position in just one year. When you actually set a goal and you need to learn things in order to achieve that specific goal, you're only learning things that you need to know. Whereas a university taught me a bunch of useless information, didn't get me any closer to the goal I had at the time, and it put me over $40,000 in debt. For $10,000, you get a year at university on average, right? 
For that amount, you can learn from some of the best, most successful entrepreneurs, one-to-one. -one. The vast majority of university graduates, they struggle to find a job in their field. This has been going viral lately. People can't find jobs because degrees are getting too common. You can literally learn directly from me for orders of magnitude less money than that, and I literally guarantee your success or you don't pay me. So let's say you take this path, you go to university, you succeed, and you get that good job. What happens next? Well, there's two options. You either fall to consumerism because you can't bear the fact of working this job for the next 50 years, so you buy things to keep you happy and to keep the existential dread from coming in, or you take the smart option. And the smart option in society is to put most of your money away for retirement. Work for the next 50 years for the hope of a better future. Society calls this the safe option. But is it really that safe? For the next 50 years, you have to hope that you keep that good job. You have to hope that nothing bad happens, that you don't have to take that money out early because of some tragedy. You have to hope that the stock market keeps returning you your 8% every year. You have to hope that you're actually alive in that 50 years. You have to hope you're healthy in that 50 years so that you can actually enjoy the money. And you have to hope that in that time, the government doesn't overinflate the currency that you have most of your savings in. And this turns you into what the book Unscripted calls a model citizen. M stands for mediocre because you live the same exact life as 99% of society. O stands for obedient because you have to listen to everything your boss says, otherwise you're going to lose that job. D stands for dependent because you have to rely on other people to give you the life you want. You don't take responsibility for your own life. E stands for entertained. You start numbing yourself with games, TV shows, films, because that's all you can do if you're saving every penny for retirement. And the last letter, L, stands for lifeless, because the days turn into weeks, weeks into months, months into years, and before you know it, your entire life has been flushed down the fucking drain. But the problem is, this stuff is necessary. A lot of people need to be in that life for society to function in the first place. At some stage though, a tiny fraction of us wake up. I woke up at the age of 18, and I was really lucky to realize these things at such an early age. And you're here because no matter what stage of this cycle you're on, you've woken up. You see, almost everyone is interested in entrepreneurship, being financially free, being successful, but the problem with the system is that it keeps you just comfortable enough to never want to seek this life out in the first place because entrepreneurship is painful, it has a price. At first, you're going to have to go through trials and tribulations. For most people, that life is just comfortable enough to never take the leap and stay mediocre. But you're here because you're done. You're done being a slave. You're done having a fucking daddy and you're here because you want to make shit happen. And to you, I say, welcome home. If you want my personal one-to-one -one help to change your life, I'll help you make money online. Click the link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.